Hello, class. Good evening. Good night. How are you? I'm fine. And you? <laughs> Doing great. Very happy to be here. Fine. <laughs> so, <clears throat> how was the storm? Did it rain near your house? A mí me agarró la troncal. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, my God. <laughs> no, yes, I... I Muchas cosas hay ahorita. Yeah, it, it is very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Well, but thank God you are at home already. Right? And that is the most important thing. That you are in your house. Exactly. Gracias. Yes, because it has been raining very, very hard. All, I mean, like for almost two hours. Han pasado quizás como dos horas pasó yo bien. Sí. It, it was really hard. Well, my dear students, welcome everybody. Welcome to all the ones that are here already and to the ones that are connecting in a moment as well. Welcome to another day of classes. So it is very important people that uh, remember to connect every single day. And for sure, if we receive any message from English Corporativo, you have to be pendent. Tenemos que estar muy pendientes de toda la información que nos envíen de parte de inglés corporativo, chicos. Eso es un detalle de que tal vez ahorita porque vamos empezando en este proceso, eh, no tenemos quizás la, la costumbre de hacerlo, pero tenemos que estar muy pendientes del chat porque ahí les envían este, información bastante importante. Por ejemplo, el día de hoy les compartieron acerca de eh, conectarse con su nombre completo según DUI. Eso es muy importante. Así que gracias a los que ya lo tienen ahí completo. Y pues, este, si no saben cómo cambiarlo, en el área de participantes, a la par de su nombre, cuando usted le pone el, el, el cursor sobre su nombre, le da la opción de cambiar nombre. Y ahí le da usted a cambiar nombre. Y pues, puede usted... Eh, ya iniciar la sesión con su nombre completo. En el caso de Wendy, Wendy de Ágreda, ¿cuál es su otro nombre, Wendy? Hi. Hi. Ajá. Perdón, ahorita lo estaba haciendo el cambio. Ah, ah ok. Si quiere cambiar, ahorita, está... sí, ahorita lo estaba haciendo. Excelente. Vilma Vindel, ¿cuál es su otro nombre, Vilma? ¿O cuál es su nombre completo según Dui? Vilma Concepción Vindel de Cepeda. Ok, Vilma Concepción Vindel de Cepeda. Hoy se, voy a, hoy se lo voy a cambiar yo. Ya mañana recuerde al conectarse, ponerlo completo. Ok, very good. Ya lo Excellent. cambié, teacher me yes. revisa. Excellent, sí, sí, Wendy. Yes. Okay. Y, y esa corrección, cuando nosotros enviamos toda la información, porque no la ponen completa usted? El, el Zoom. Ajá, sí, no, todo el nombre de nosotros, pues porque lo abrevian y está lo cambiando todos los días. Yo siento que ustedes, los de, o no usted, no que alguien el encargado poner el nombre completo. Sí, fíjese Era, que sería lo ideal. Fíjese que en este caso creo que es la plataforma en realidad. Es la plataforma la que, la que pone solo el nombre de registro y es la que, la que tenemos que estar pendiente de que su nombre completo aparezca. Pues. Porque a mí me sale Rosa y Rosa no me gusta. A mí me gusta <risas> mi nombre completo, Rosa María. <risas> ah, pero, ajá, entonces aquí tenemos que tener el nombre completo según tu idea. Es, eso es importante. Así que también, este, let's see. Tenemos otro que les enviaron un, man, un comprobante de manual, ¿ok? Les entregaron el manual en PDF y también se les ha compartido en el grupo de WhatsApp. Entonces, ese comprobante que se les envió, ustedes lo tienen que imprimir, lo tienen que descargar, lo tienen que imprimir y obviamente firmarlo y enviarlo escaneado eh, a más tardar el viernes 2 de junio. Entonces, eso tenemos que hacerlo. Es muy importante que lo tengan. Está el mensaje en WhatsApp del de comprobante. Así que, por favor, descarguenlo lo imprimen, lo firman y lo envían. Ahí lo Se pueden... completa. Sí, lo tienen que descargar, lo completan ahí a mano, lo firman y lo envían. Ya sea que lo pueden escanear con alguna aplicación en su teléfono o le toman una foto realmente clara para que se pueda enviar. 
Ok. Eh, quiero ver también otra cosa importante. El trabajo en la plataforma. Gracias a todos los que han estado trabajando en la plataforma. Ahora vamos a trabajar en un poquito en las oraciones para que ustedes no se confundan. Detalles importantes de la plataforma. No dejar espacios. Ocupar los símbolos correctos. Si tienen alguna duda, copien de la misma plataforma y así péguenlo. Por ejemplo, en el caso de O'Clock, lo que falla a veces es el, el, el apóstrofe que nos da el incorrecto. Entonces, si no ponemos el apóstrofe correcto, no nos acepta la respuesta. ¿okay? En el caso de los permisos, chicos, si necesitan por algún motivo, recuerden que en la clase no se pueden brindar permisos porque tenemos solamente tiempo bastante limitado de clases que son solo 16 días. Entonces no podemos brindar permisos. Si es algo sumamente importante que se sale de nuestras manos, los primeros que tenemos que contactar son a nuestros encargados de inglés corporativo. ¿Okay? Así que, eh, ¿por qué? Porque yo no estoy autorizada a darles permisos. Entonces, eh, lo primero que tenemos que hacer es contactarnos con ellos para que ellos estén al tanto de lo que está sucediendo. ¿Ok? Así que esas son cosas importantes que les quería compartir. And now, after this, we're going to switch back to English and we're going to continue working, right? We're going to continue working. If you have any question, remember the chat is always open. It's always available. So please um, remember that uh, you can send a message there and please be pendent. Siempre contesten los mensajes del chat, okay? O reaccionen con un like para saber que ya los leyeron, eh, para saber que están enterados y no lleguemos hasta el final del módulo y me digan, ah, no sabía, teacher, okay? So please keep that in mind, okay? We're going to be using that a lot, okay? So yesterday, we started working a little bit on the third person sentences. We were working on the simple present things and we were working on sentences in simple present, right? This is not something new for you because I know you have studied simple present before, but this is exactly what you were working on the platform, right? That was the sentences with do and does. Remember when you have sentences with do and does, and you use the auxiliary form, you don't have to change the verb anymore because the sentence is going to be changed with the auxiliary. So yesterday we were working on the different verbs, on the transformation of verbs, and we are going to continue working on the sentences today, okay? So here, for example, if you have different verbs like this, we are going to create sentences. If we make it, for example, if we make sentences in simple present with the verb eat, you are going to say, I eat lunch. I eat lunch every day at 12 noon, right? I eat lunch every day at 12 noon. This is for the first person. And if you want to make it negative, you say, no, teacher, I don't eat lunch. I don't eat lunch every day at 12 noon, right? And if you want to make a question, you say, do you, okay, it's not common that you ask yourself, right? So you say, do you eat lunch at 12 noon? And then you add a question mark. So these are the three forms of sentences that we have for simple present first person. If we want to make the same sentence in second person. So you say, you clean the house in the morning. How do you make this sentence negative? How will you make it negative? I don't the, the clean, no, perdón. I don't clean the house in the morning. 
Okay, using the same subject, how would you make it negative? Using the same sentence, how would you make it negative? If you say, you clean the house in the morning. In the morning. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You don't. You don't. You don't or you don't know. You don't or you do not. Yes, for sure. Right. But we're using the contractions here. You don't clean the house in the morning. How do you make a question? Do you, do you right? Exactly like that. Because you need the auxiliary, the do subject, the, the verb. In the morning. Do you clean the house in the morning? Very good. Excellent job. What about the third person? How would you make a third person sentence? What is the first, is the thing, first thing that we need? That we need? Okay. Exactly, for a third person. What is the first thing that we need for a third person? It's the pronoun, he, the, he? Uh, the subject, right? We need the subject in the sentence that it's going to be he or she, right? In this case, we're going to use he. Can you give me a verb? He worked. He worked. Okay. okay. He worked. What is the change that we do on the verbs? Yesterday, we talked about the change of the verbs. Uh -huh. Aha. Work. He works. He works near his house. He works near his house. Él trabaja cerca de su casa. What is the negative form of this one? He don't he does clean. He does near his house. House. He does works near his house. That's okay. He does work. He does No, he does. What is the auxiliary for he? Does that's him. He doesn't, right? He doesn't. What is the normal verb? Work. He doesn't work. Where? This near his house. Right? He doesn't work near his house. And as you can see here, in the negatives, you don't change the verb, right? What about the questions? Does he what? Work. His house. His house. Excellent. Does he work near his house? Very good job, right? Does he work near his house? And there you have the third person form of the sentence. Good, very good. As you can see, don't is for I, you, we, and they, right? And does is for he, she, and it. So if you have, if you have here, I, you, I. What, you were going to write it? Like you want to it? There you go. You can take a screenshot if you want. Does he? Okay. Yeah. Okay, done. Ya le sacaron a screenshot. Yeah. Yes. You got it. Okay, good. So yes. we have here for I, I, you, I, you, we and you. they. I, you, we, they, is both. Exactly. And for he, he she, she, she is, 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 we have does, does. it's thus, right? For this and for this ones. We have I, you, we, they, and you say I, you, we, they don't. don't. And for this one is does. Oh, yes. right? We have to be very careful on this one, right? And for the questions, for the questions, you use do here at the beginning or 
does. Does. For the questions yeah. is do and does. So this no. is okay. And this is in a specific form just for the negatives. Okay. This is for the negative. Uh -huh. And here we can use any type of verb. And you say, for example, cook, work, play, swim. You can say um, another verb. You can say, um, like she, what time is there? Make. See. Make, okay. You can have make. You can have a, no, let's say a study. Okay, let's use study. Let's use read to make it educational, right? Review, right? You can say, um, organize, go, right? And if you want to make a sentence here, for example, if you want to make it affirmative, if you want to make it affirmative, you say, I cook, you cook, we play, they swim, they study, right? Those are affirmative sentences. If you want to make it negative, you say, I don't cook, you don't work. We don't play, right? We make them negative like that. But if you want to make questions, if we want to make questions, right? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Sorry. If you want to make questions here, you say, do I cook? Does he read? Right? That's the form of questions. The only change that we have for example, in the case of the affirmative sentences, let me just take this one, that you say in an affirmative sentence, you say he reads, she reviews, and we add the S, right? He cooks only for he, she, and it in affirmative, okay? Is it clear, this one? Nos queda claro ese punto? Yes, no? Can we make yes. sentences alone? Eh, cuando yes. usamos, da, eh, cuando esa, uh -huh. cuando era negativo, era verdad que puso, pusimos el, eh, la S al final o cuando estábamos hablando de he, okay. he, he, he Okay. Lleva la S, pero en solo esos tres, she, he, it. Yeah, he, she, and it, en afirmativo, right? Correcto. En afirmativo. Cuando hacemos mm -hmm. negativas, we say don't, doesn't, y ahí el verbo queda normal. En preguntas, yeah, okay. el verbo es normal. Okay. The only change is in affirmative sentences. Let's create affirmative sentences then. Let's create affirmative sentences with her person singular. Okay, we're going to work like this. Like the like the little kids, don't worry. Don't worry, don't worry. I am going to take some spaces here. And we are going to say, here we're going to have the subject, right? The subject. Here we're going to have the verb. Here we have the verb. And here we have a uh, compliments. Okay, we are going to make sentences with he, she, and it. And you are going to make more, okay? So I am going to give you one example. He cooks dinner. He cooks dinner for his family. Okay, and there you go. He cooks dinner for his family. Another one with she. She what? She, I need a verb. She what? She, she eats, okay. She eats what? Um, cooking. Pizza. Uh, uh, pizza. <laughs> she eats <laughs> cookies, okay. She eats cookies when? Okay. Uh -huh. 
for chill children, algo así con los niños. Uy, no. Ah, in the we, morning. <laughs> cookies with the children. <laughs> no, comer con los niños, algo así. Ah, she eats cookies with her uh -huh. children. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, because children's cookies are very delicious. Ask Hansel y Gretel, you will see. <laughs> with Hansel y Gretel, you are going to know. Okay, she eats cookies with her children. Um, let's create another one with my dog. My dog. Give me a verb. A verb for my dog. My dog Run. runs. Run, correr. Uh -huh. Runs. Runs. Eh. Around. Uh, the house. My dog runs around the house. Okay. And in this one, what is the function of dog? Como que está funcionando my dog in this case? He. he she. Como tercera persona. Uh -huh. He. El. No. ¿verdad? Because, no. okay. My. It's, it's, it's me. It's, it's mine. It. Right. It. Uh, it. Right. Because it's uh, una cosa. Ah, uh, yeah. Right? Because it's my dog. It's es una cosa, un objeto, como una parte de la familia. Uh, when uh, when you know that your dog is a boy and it's part of your family, you say, ah, he's very beautiful. Yes, but it's not very correct, right? You say my dog is beautiful, right? It is beautiful. Okay. He and she are most common for human, right? Okay. If I say my house. It is the same case, right? If I say my house, my house, what is the verb for this one? You can say my house is very big, okay? Or you can say my house has, my house has many bedrooms. Right? And there you have another sentence, right? If you say, for example, my sister, my sister, ¿qué sujeto estamos reemplazando? My sister will be he or she? She. She, she. right? She. she. <laughs> my sister. My he. sister. He. She. <laughs> my she. sister, she. My sister. Dances, dances what? Dance, <laughs> rock and roll. <laughs> okay, samba. Okay, my sister dances. No, let's be Salvadorian. Cumbia. My yeah. sister dances cumbia in December, right? She dances cumbia in December. Okay. As you can see here, we have changed all the different verbs, right? We have changed all the different verbs in the sentence and we have add the S to the verb. But what about if we want to make the sentences negative? We need to make a change on the sentence. In this case, for example, if we want to make this one negative, the first sentence, vamos a tomar esta, the first one, right? He cooks dinner. You say like, not nah, teacher. That's not right. It's not correct. So you say, teacher, he doesn't. He doesn't. And we need to make another change. So we say, he doesn't cook. And we remove the S. He doesn't cook dinner for his family. And we make the change here. And we disappear the S. Because the auxiliary is going to take the form. Okay? Cuando tenemos el auxiliar doesn't, ya el verbo vuelve a su forma normal. He doesn't cook dinner. But this is for negative sentences. Can you make the second one negative? Make the second one negative. This one. She eat cookies. No, make it negative. negative. She, no, 
she doesn't eat. She doesn't eat. Very good. She doesn't eat cookies with her children. What about number three? My bedroom. My 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 dog. Que no se les olvide la auxiliar. My dog. My dog. My dog. Doesn't. My dog doesn't, doesn't around, the, run. around the house. Exactly. Around no, the house. No podemos decir doesn't runs, porque si ocupamos doesn't, el verbo queda en su forma uh -huh. normal. So you say, my dog uh -huh. doesn't run. Doesn't run. Okay, very good. What about the, the next one? My house is very my big. My house. Uh -huh. Don't. My, my house okay. La primera no le podemos poner doesn't porque tenemos el verbo to be. So you say, my don't, house don't, is not. Ajá, my house. Not. Aquí sería, my house is not. Si so tenemos el verbo to be, ahí no. So you say, my house, aquí sí, doesn't. And what is the form of the verb? My house doesn't. Have. This is the form of the verb. My house doesn't have many bedrooms. La forma normal de has is have. My house doesn't have many bedrooms. My sister. My sister doesn't dance. 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 My sister doesn't. My sister doesn't dance cumbia in the December. In December, right? My dance. sister doesn't dance cumbia in December. So there you have the forms, my dear students. There you have it. That is the form of the simple present. Yeah. Now, it is easier for you to work on the platform because your ideas are organized, okay? So... Whenever you are creating sentences yeah. on the platform, yeah. you have to think about the order of the sentences, okay? Okay. Now, let's go back to our presentation. Lo voy a regresar a la presentación para que podamos seguir trabajando. Okay, here we go. Here you have different, different verbs. Right? We have different verbs here. I need you to take two verbs. Take two verbs from this ones, from the list. Ahí tienen un listado de verbos. Take two verbs and I need you to create two sentences, affirmative and negative, on the chat. Okay? En el chat de Zoom, aquí donde le voy a enviar un mensaje ahorita. Right here you have. Hello. There you are going to write the two sentences, affirmative and negative, using he or she. I am going to send example. She Okay, and I am going to make the other one. Okay. Okay. Okay, I send you two examples. She plays the guitar on the band and she doesn't send emails. Okay, I sent my sentences already. I need you to send yours. Dos oraciones usando he or she in one of the verbs. One affirmative and one negative on the chat, so we can check. Al chat de Zoom para que las podamos revisar. Okay. She doesn't bet her money. <laughs> Ella no apuesta su dinero. Sí, okay. I, it, okay, but in he or she, Roxana Yasmin, using he or she. Las dos están bien, pero necesito unas con he or she. So we can make the change. 
Everybody. I need to see everybody's sentences. Ahí tengo que tener 20 oraciones. Bueno, 40. Dos de cada uno. You can use any of the verbs that we have here. Go, go, go. If you cannot use the chat in Zoom, send it on the WhatsApp chat. Si no pueden usar el chat de Zoom, envíelo al chat de WhatsApp. No problem. Okay, more examples, more examples. Take your time, take your time. She drinks water every day in the morning, morning. Como escribimos morning? The period at the end and the capital at the beginning. Ay. She does. Wait, 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 wait. wait. There it is. She sleeps early, very good. He cleans his bedroom every day. He doesn't cook, very good. She sleeps early, she doesn't clean her room, very good. She, he eats pizza every day. I eat chicken every momento. <laughs> every moment I want, every momento. But in that case, uh, Nelson, so you say, I eat chicken, chicken. Sí, 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 es que lo que pasa es que por estar escribiendo la carrera. <laughs> Don't worry, I eat chicken. Sorry. Uh, in that case, you say eh, every time. Cierto. Incluso en un moment, le puse momento. <laughs> but in that case, you say, I eat chicken every time I want. In English, it's better to say every time, cada vez, cada vez que quiero, every time I want, right? Because every moment is like, imagine you are there, like hey, chicken, hey, chicken. And then you eat, no, every time it's like, oh, maybe we are going to have chicken for, for dinner. And then you can eat it. She doesn't eat meat. She jumps rope. Okay, Mireya, en la segunda que tenemos afirmativa, say she, cambiamos el verbo siempre. She jumps rope. He sleeps every day, Roberto Carlos, sleeps. One L to E and S. He sleeps every day and he doesn't sleep every day in the second one. Okay. He sleeps very late. Okay. Rosa Maria, siempre mayúscula al inicio, acordémonos. He, ah, he sleeps every day. Very good. He doesn't eat pizza. She plays basketball, Rosa Maria. Okay. Okay. Plays. Okay. Oh, I Awesome. Okay, let's see. He, she plays basketball. He doesn't dance in the party. Good. Uh, Rosa Maria, it's like she doesn't. Doesn't. How do you say it? Doesn't. doesn't. Okay. D O E S N apostrophe T. Doesn't. She doesn't. Okay, you have to be careful Thank with you. those. You're welcome, my dear. That, that is like he travels a lot. He doesn't walk. Yeah. Much. Excellent sentences, Wendy. Very good job. El punto al final, Wendy. It's very important. He travels a lot. He doesn't walk much. She sleeps, Nubia. She sleeps. She sleeps house for his, for his family. She sleeps in the house of her family. She sleeps in the house of her family. And in the other one, Nubia, she doesn't house for his family. Eh, ¿Qué quería poner con esa, Nubia? She doesn't house for his family. Ella, este, ella duerme, bueno, sí, me falta en casa. Ah, okay. So you say she doesn't 
sleep. Doesn't... Sleep in sleep the all. house. Sí, me comí el <laughs> of her family. Yeah. Y lo escribí, y lo escribí. She doesn't uh, sleep in house for his family. Okay, so you have to be very careful. I send no, you no, the no, correction. No. It's okay, don't worry. She doesn't sleep in the house of her family. She exercises in the morning, Jennifer. In the morning. Okay, she exercises in the morning. She doesn't exercise in the morning. He eats pupusas every day. He doesn't eat pupusas, I separado, every day. And that's it. She studies by the evening, Violeta. She studies in the evening. She studies in the evening. In the evening. Cuando, no, cuando nos referimos a in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, and at night. Pero la primera sí la puse bien, la segunda. Puse dormir. Okay, correcta. She cooks dinner for his, okay, eh, Reina, Reina Yael. Si decimos she cooks dinner, entonces cuando usamos el pronoun, so you say she cooks dinner for her friends, for her friends. Her friend. Because okay. if you say she cooks dinner for his friends, quizás por los amigos del esposo, right? She doesn't eat. No podemos poner she doesn't eat porque doesn't ya lleva el auxiliar. She doesn't eat. Ahí ya no, lo, ya no ponemos S. Yes. She drinks water at night. Very good. My cat eats much. ¿Usamos much en este caso o a lot? My cat eats a lot. Okay. <laughs> My cat doesn't play. She studies in the evening. Very good. She would drinks water every day in the morning. Uh, she doesn't drink water every day in the morning. Very good. A lot. She doesn't drink water at night. N -I -G -H -T. N-I-G-H-T. Night. A lot. N-I-G-H-T. Night. So we have to be very careful with that. You see, this is a very good practice. It is a very good practice that you take the time and write the sentences. Okay? Take your notebook and write sentences. Y you can take one sentence per each of these verbs, okay? Aquí le sacamos a screen a los verbos and we take one by one. Nos podemos ir uno por uno. Una con I, una con he, una con we, okay? To make the homework, okay? Like if you are little kids. Ahí está el niño haciendo la plana en la tarde, vea. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Así nos vamos a poner nosotros también. Una con I, una con we, una con they, una con he. And then you write your sentences, right? And that is very, very useful, right? She doesn't study in the evening, in the evening, evening. Evening. Hoy no habían cenado antes de entrar a clase, ya lo vi. Se andan comiendo las letras. So in the evening, in the evening. Good. So let's continue creating some sentences and doing more examples. So. You can get this ones, okay? Es más, le puedo dejar esa tarea para el fin de semana. Take, take the screenshot of these verbs. Sáquenle captura a esos verbos. Okay. And I need you to write sentences in the different forms. You can write sentences in the different forms and you can say, okay, I have these verbs. And you say, I am going to go here. And you say like, okay, I am going to write sentences with it. So you say, I eat uh, breakfast at 7 a.m. Okay, and then you have the first sentence. I sleep, okay, let's do with she. She sleeps she. a lot, like Cinderella, okay, como la vida durmiente. He, this one, you say he takes a shower uh, at night. And then you can start creating your sentences with every single verb, right? And then you go exactly like that. Y ahí se van, uno por uno todos los verbos. So you say, read, 
let's say with we, we, we read emails all I day. And then you can create sentences with each of them. Okay. The idea is that you invent sentences, that you create things. Okay. So there you have the verbs. Ahí les dejo los verbos. Los pueden cambiar a tercera persona. Los pueden cambiar a verbo normal. The idea is that you create more. Thank you for the one who sent the picture in the group. Very good job. Thank you, Jasmine. <laughs> Excellent. You have it on the WhatsApp group already. So that's the magic of this one, right? Remember the changes. Remember the changes of the verbs, right? The changes for ES, right? Goes, fixes, flies, carries. Okay. That is very important, right? In positive and in negative. I like cheese. He likes cheese. You don't like cheese. It doesn't like cheese, right? Once you have the auxiliary, you don't change the verb, right? That is very, very important. Hey, we have extra sentences. She doesn't study in the evening. He eats pizza every weekend. He doesn't. Vilma doesn't. Okay, doesn't. That is something that you can do. Very good. So for the questions, remember, do I, do you, okay? Do we like cheese? Do they like cheese? Does she like cheese? Does he like cheese? Do you like cheese, people? In the answers, you can say, yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, he does. No, she doesn't. Okay. Here you have the forms of the answers. If I ask you, for example, Nelson, do you like to watch TV? So you say, yes, I do. Yes. Or no, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Nelson Efrain, do you like to watch TV? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Very good. Cynthia Marisol, do you like pupusas? No, I don't. <gasps> Really? <laughs> okay, me, me voy. Qué pecado, qué pecado. Bye. No es salvadoreña. No, sí, no es salvadoreña. No, you don't like it. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. Forgive. I will forgive you for that. Okay. I, I will come back. Um, <laughs> what? ¿Qué está pasando aquí? ¿Qué está pasando? Okay, let's see. Sandra Beatriz, do you drive your car? car? No, I don't know. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay. Mirna Jasmine. Mirna Jasmine. Do you like okay. cats? Do you like cats? Uh, no, I don't. I don't like that. Okay, I'm leaving again. <laughs> Me voy de nuevo. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> no pupusas, no cats. Oh my God. No okay. cats, no. Do you like Other dogs? Other animals, menos, menos lo que. <laughs> do you like dogs? Uh, yes, yes I do. Okay, very good. Reina Jael, <laughs> do you like uh, Luis Miguel's music? Yes, I I do. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Let's see. Bill, my Isabel, do you like reggaeton? No, I don't. Very good job. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Wendy Lisette, do you <laughs> like... <laughs> can, yeah. yes, do you like mangoes, Wendy Lisette? I like. <laughs> yes, I like them. Yes, I do. Right, very good. Cynthia, do you like mangoes? <laughs> Another Depende. one. Depends. Depending. Depending. Damisela, do you like uh, to check TikTok? Yes, I do. Uh -huh. <laughs> do you like? Okay. Uh, Nubia, do you like to watch TV? Yes. Uh, yes. yes, I don't. Yes, I, I do. do. Yes, I do. Mireya, yes, 
Mireya, do you like to clean your house? Yes, I do. Okay, let's see. Roberto Carlos, do you like to wash the dishes? <laughs> uh -huh. yes, I yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> like, yes, I do. <laughs> Me, I don't, I don't like to watch the dishes. I don't like to watch the dishes. I hate it, <laughs> but I have to do it anyway. Yeah, this, this is it. I can do everything, but not to wash the dishes. Let me see. Daniel Edgardo, do you like to cook? Yes, I don't. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Very good job. Ana Jamilet, do you like to uh, watch movies? Yes, I do. Very good job. Fabi, uh, Fatima Ibing, do you like to dance? Yes, yes, I do, you say. Very good. Rosa Maria, do you like to sleep? Uh, mm, mm, yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Duermo poco, pero sí, yeah. Okay, Vilma Concepcion, do you like to sing? What? Oh. <laughs> Yes, I yeah right it, it is not that you sing good or bad do it with passion that's important let's see let's see who am i missing is violeta elizabeth do you like to play soccer i i don't know <laughs> no i don't you say no i, I don't. don't i don't no, i don't good no, now don't. How would you ask questions to me? ¿Qué pregunta me harían ustedes? A mí. Ask one question to me. So you say, teacher. Teacher, do you like cheese? <laughs> 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 That's good. That's a good thing. <laughs> Salva vida. <laughs> ¿Te podría decir, do you, uh, do you like a teacher? Do you, okay, do you like being? Do you like being? Sí, que si me gusta ser maestra. Yes. I bean. love it. <laughs> do you like being a teacher? Do you like being a teacher? Yes, Bean. I do. Bean. And yes, I like cheese. Capita with loroco. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, era tortilla. Oh, my God. Ah. <laughs> Good. Another question. Another question. Teacher, do you teacher? Teacher, do you like clean the house? Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah. Anyway, I always say like, ay, esta muchacha que no limpia, and I am the muchacha. Aha, <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. another teacher, question. Teacher, do you like milk? Yes, I do. Milk wow. with cinnamon. Oh, that's very good. Con canela. I like it. Teacher, do you like pupusas? Yes, I do. I love pupusas. <laughs> yes. Mix Teacher, pupusas. do you like a dog? Do you like dogs? Do you like dogs? Dogs. Porque si decimos, a dog es un perro, right? Do you like a dog? No, right? Do you like dogs in general? Yes, I do. that. <laughs> Kiara? <laughs> I have Teacher, one. do you like coffee? Yes, I do. I love coffee. Teacher, do you like lasagna? lasagna? I like lasagna. Very good. I like lasagna with cheese and chicken. Very good. One more question. Teacher, do you like watch, to watch TV? I love to watch TV. I love to watch movies and series. And very old soap operas. For example, like Mariva, Mariela del Barrio. Or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I love to, to watch this also opera. So you see, that's the form of questions, my dear class. You see, that's the form of making questions. And that's the form of answers, right? That's very important, right? To know how to make questions and to know how to answer, right? It is very common that we use the present simple to talk about actions that we do all the time. Okay, that's why you can see sentences like every morning, every day, in the morning, in the afternoon, on Saturdays, right? Because they are 
frequent sentences, things that you do all the time. For example, I get the service bus at seven every morning, right? You know that at seven in the morning, you are in the bus stop. John brushes his teeth before he goes to bed. That's a repetitive action, right? I play football at break time. It's something that you do in every break. I play football. My sister goes sailing on weekends, right? Se va en su bote ahí a navegar. She goes sailing on weekends, but sailing, sailing. every weekend is the same. Sailing is navegar, right? My sister goes sailing every weekend, right? So that is the form of these sentences. Simple present is not complicated, but we need to be very careful at the moment of using it, okay? In some cases, we use it to say things that are always true. The sky is blue, the earth goes around the sun, I am a student, tigers are big cats, my class starts at nine and finishes at 10. Right, those are general truths. And I have here a little exercise that you are going to work together on this one. I need you to help me correct sentence number one. What is the problem with sentence number one? Do he like basketball? Do he like basketball? He likes. El auxiliar. Mm, Ajá. No, no, no. Ajá, el de auxiliar. How? Mm. How, Mayerly? Does. En lugar de do. Ok, so you say. Does. Does he likes basketball? Eso lo tiene que ir en mayúscula, pero lo voy a poner para que se vea dónde está el cambio. Ok. Does he like basketball? Very good. What is the next problem? Like, does he like eating pizza? Okay, I like eating pizza. Exactly, right? It doesn't need the S. So you say, I, I like, like eating pizza. I like eating pizza. What about pizza. the next one? Number three. She doesn't. She, she doesn't. It does. It does. Okay, you can say, yeah. what is the, the form of the verb here? She does her homework on the service bus, right? Ella hace su tarea en el bus. She does her homework on the bus. What about yeah. the next one? The from, what will be the change there? Like finish. In la S. Finish. 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 Si estamos hablando de la película. Finish. Finish. ¿Cuál es la tercera persona de finish? E. 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 S. Exactly, right? Finishes. The film finishes at eight, right? The film finishes at eight. What about the next one? My friends. friends. My go. friends. Go. go. My friends go. go. Right. My friends go. Uh, On holiday. holiday next week. She. What is the change there? There. Uh -huh. uh -huh. how, how, do you make how do you make the third person, the third person of Paris? Paris. Paris. Her little sister to the car in the morning. Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman. It's she. 
S. Get in the verb. X. Nicole Kidman asked in a lot of films. We, we play. play. We play, right? We play. Because you cannot say we place, right? It's not possible. We play in the garden at break. Okay. Play. Our teacher. Our teacher. Play. What That's, is the third yeah. person form? Teachers. Uh, Nuestra maestra, our teacher, talks very clearly, right? Our teacher talks very clearly, right? I am going to do it right now. <laughs> we are no, missing <laughs> Teacher, did you call the list, right? That's very good. So here, uh, what is the verb on that one? Teacher, did you call the list? Okay. And here we have, right? I am going to leave this one here. Le voy a dejar esta info aquí para que la puedan medio copiar. The use of at, in, and on. Okay, at, in, and on. Teacher no va a pasar lista. A eso voy. I am present, going to do it. <laughs> present, present. Present teacher. Wait, 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 wait. Tranquila. Ahorita <laughs> le paso. <laughs> Here, no teacher. No, 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 not at all. Teacher, ya estoy aquí. Present, present, you say. <laughs> no, I am going to do it right now. Okay. There you have the use of at, in, and on. That is the one that we're going to be studying on the next class, right? At, in, and on. So you can take a little moment for you to investigate on that one, okay? Pueden investigar un poquito más acerca de eso. Ana y Leticia, she's not here, but she's sick. Ana Yamilet, Ana Yamilet Cruz, very good. Present. Cintia Marisol Mejía. Present. Daniel Edgardo Mengíbar. Present. Fátima Ivín Peña. Present. Mayerly Alejandra Pérez. I am here. Mayerly Yamilet Ardón. Mireya Beatriz Cantón. Present. Mirna Yasmín Portilla. Present. Nelson Efraín. Present. Nubia Daisy. Present, teacher. Reina Yael. Present. Roberto Carlos. Here, teacher. Rosa María. Present, teacher. Roxana Yasmín. Present. Roxana Yamilet. Sandra Beatriz Melara. Present. Ubaldo Antonio. Ubaldo. Vilma Concepción Sarceño. Present. Yeah. Verónica Elizabeth Vázquez. Verónica Elizabeth Vázquez de Orantes. Sí. No, we don't have Verónica. Okay. And let me see. Let's go here. Vilma Isabel Morejón. Presentation. Thank you. And Violeta Elizabeth Escalante. Present teacher. Wendy Lisette Hernandez. Present. And Jennifer Damisela. Present. Thank you. So Roxana Yamilet, Ubaldo, Veronica, Elizabeth, <laughs> and Mayerly Yamilet, and Ana Leticia, who is sick. Okay, so. We are going to go back here just to explain a little bit of what you are going to do in the next class. So remember, we are going to talk a little bit about at, in, and on, okay? Los invito a que vayamos a hacer un poquito de investigación acerca del uso de at, in, and on, okay? Here you have a short example, but I need you to investigate a little bit more. Remember to create sentences, okay? Practiquen sus oraciones con los verbos que les di. Okay, practice your sentences and for sure 
he investigate a little bit more on the use of at, in, and on. That is going to be your homework for the next week. Please complete the platform. If you have any question about the platform, let me know and I am going to be glad to help you, okay? I was checking on some of you and you were having issues with some of the exercises. So please, if you have any problem with the platform, tell me. And you say like, teacher, I cannot do this, I cannot do that, okay? De repente, sus compañeros contestan sumamente rápido, okay? And there you uh, can have your answers. Send sections one and two, okay? Hola. Alguien que tenga problemas para entrar a la plataforma? Ya todos pueden entrar? Yes? Yes. Like on the screen? Yes? Yes. Okay, good. So if you have any problem, tell me, and I will be more than glad to help you. Remember that we don't have class tomorrow, but we have classes on Monday. So please, you have tomorrow for you to finish the platform, okay? You have today and tomorrow for you to finish. And I hope many of you have finished already. Ya muchos de ustedes terminaron las secciones 1 y 2, así que porfa, los que no las han terminado, trabajémoslas para tenerlas listas in the first week. Okay, my dear students, have a beautiful night, and I am going to see you on Monday for your next class, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Happy Good Have a happy weekend. Enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank have a, you. Have Bye. a beautiful week. Take Bye. care, Bye. my dear Bye. students. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.